Yes. Well, let's take you to the United States, where more details have emerged from Friday's helicopter crash, which led to the death of Group Chief Executive Officer of Axis Holdings PLC, Herbert Wigwe, his wife, son, and the former Group Chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, Ambibola Ogubanjo. The National Transportation Safety Board confirmed that witnesses report suggest it was raining and a wintry mix when the crash happened in California near the Nevada border. There is more in this report. The NTSB in its briefing mentioned that preliminary investigations are still ongoing and officials were at the scene to gather perishable evidence. Official of the Safety Board, Michael Graham, emphasized that they will look into the chopper's air wilderness, maintenance and structure, among other things. The NTSB is an independent agency charged by Congress to investigate every civil aviation accident and significant accidents in the other transportation modes. We are on scene now to gather perishable evidence. Our team is methodically and systematically reviews all evidence and considers all potential factors to determine the probable cause. This is the beginning of a long process. We will not jump to any conclusions and the information that I provide for you tonight is preliminary. Although the NTSB says the victims have not been identified, Assets Bank PLC confirmed the death of its Group Chief Executive Officer, Herbert Wigwe, who was on board the aircraft alongside his wife, son, and a former Group Chairman of the Nigerian Action Group PLC, Abimbola Ogubanjo. Obviously, I'm Nigerian. I'm a chartered accountant by training. I worked... Born on the 15th of August, 1966, Herbert Wigwe was a Nigerian banker and entrepreneur. He was the CEO of Access Holdings PLC, traded as Access Corporation until his death. He was the group managing director, CEO of Access Bank PLC, one of Nigeria's top five banking institutions. Herbert Wigwe was said to have been traveling in the helicopter with his wife, son, and three others when it went down on Friday nights. Dr. Wigwe had written on one of his social media handles how he spent time last week with the Axis Pensions family, engaging in meaningful conversations that shaping the future of Africa. Many have described his death as a loss to the entire nation, as it was a visionary and brilliant banker who will be greatly missed. And reactions have continued to pour rain after the death of Herbert Wigwe, his wife, son, and others. And in the next report, we'll take a look at the condolence messages from some dignitaries and sympathizers across the country. President Tunubu has expressed shock and deep distress after receiving news of the passing of Herbert Wigwe and the former group chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group PLC, Abimbola Ugumbajo. He mourned the Nigerian business leaders and described their passing as an overwhelming tragedy that is shocking beyond comprehension. Governor of River State Simi Fubara in his condolence message described the helicopter crash as unfortunate and that uh, there are no words to convey how terrible these losses are. Governor of Lagos State Babajide Songwolu described him as a visionary leader and one of the brightest minds in Africa whose impact on the nation and beyond will be remembered forever. He also condoled with the family of Abimbola Ogumbojo over the passing of the former group chairman of Nigerian Exchange Group PLC. Former Vice President Atiku Abubaka, in a tweet on his ex handle described the incident as unfortunate and extended his sympathy to the Wigwe family. For the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, Herbert Wigwe's death is a profound loss across the nation and prayed for internal rest for the deceased. Former governor of Kaduna State, Nasiru El Rufai, says Mr. Wigwe's death is a loss not only to his family and friends, but to the financial services sector and the Nigerian economy. Mr. El Rufai says he was humble, responsive, respectful, and limitlessly generous. Senator representing Abia State, Oji Kalu, expressed shock and sadness as he described Otong Wigwe as a thoroughbred professional, a complete gentleman, and a patriotic Nigerian.
President of the African Development Bank offered his condolences. He prayed for comfort for Dr. Wigwe's aged parents, the entire Wigwe family and the staff and management of Access Bank. He says the visionary and brilliant banker will be greatly missed.